Hey guys, I want to thank you for coming back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things today. Uh, one is in particular the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ. Now I am not sponsored by uh, Smith & Wesson for this video. This video is all on me. So I just want to bring that to you because I have a lot of people in my training classes that bring the Shield EZs. Nothing wrong with those. Those are great guns. However, I just wanted to let everybody know about the recall that is on the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ. Now, I, uh, I'm going to be reading this from another tablet, so bear with me. If I look down, I'm looking at the tablet to be able to read things to you. But uh, to keep, make this a little bit shorter, it was only on the Smith & Wesson Shield EZs that were manufactured between March 1st of 2020 and October 31st of 2020. So it is on the 380 and the 9mm models. So it is on both of them. However, it was one of their smaller suppliers. So having said that, it's not on every one of them. So if you want to, you can go to Smith & Wesson Shield EZ Recall.com and input your serial number, or you can call the number 888-871-7114 and uh, tell them your serial number, get everything figured out. Uh, Smith & Wesson has come out and said that they will pay for the... Um, remanufactured part to be able to put into your gun, fix it up, get it right the way it needs to be. And um, they're gonna pay for shipping as well. So that's a big thing for everybody that saves you money. They've said they wanna get everything back to you within two weeks. So all you have to do is once again, go on the MMP Shield Easy Recall.com and input your serial number, or you can call that number I said before, and you can figure out if your gun was affected by this uh, defective part, pretty much, because all it is is the firing pin had cracked, and it caused some uh, malfunction issues in the gun, made it to where the um, hammer would not actually hit the firing pin and actually shoot the gun itself. And in other cases, it was a little bit worse than that. Even the, the gun itself just completely malfunctioned. Um, it is a safety reasons they've done this and they're recalling all of them, making sure to see if the uh, serial numbers are good or not. So basically, uh, this is coming straight from them. It says, with the loaded magazine in the firearm, the grip safety depressed, the manual safety in the firing position and slide closed, and a round in the chamber pulling the trigger will cause the round to fire normally. However, if the slide cycles, the next round may be ignited as it is chambered by the hammering fail by the hammer failing to fully engage the sear, causing multiple discharges. In all cases, the firearms will not fire unless the grip safety is depressed. Uh, while this condition has been found in only two hammers, the on or and our investigation suggests that these two incidents are very isolated. Any unintended discharge of a firearm has a potential to cause injury. Therefore, we have established a safety recall for precautionary measures on all the MMP Shield EZ pistols to meet our service uh, standards. So, having said all that, guys, you need to go ahead and get on MMP Shield easyrecall.com and see if your pistol was affected by this and like I said go ahead and call that number as well as 888-871-7114 um, the pistols themselves are still good like I said it's just the hammer and the firing pin inside the gun and like I said they'll fix it all up for you you won't have to pay for anything including shipping They'll pay for it all. All you have to do is call the number and see if your pistol was infected by this. So go ahead and do that, guys. I hope your pistol is not affected by this. If it is, it's not going to cost you anything except for a little bit of time. About two weeks is what they said. So I hope you all have a great day. If you want to take a class from me, my number is 864-201-9275. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.